In this tutorial, we're going to look at making basic geometry in 3ds Max. So we already looked at using the Create drop-down. Here you can create standard primitives like box, cylinders, planes. You can also create extended primitives, which are basically just more complex standard primitives. So instead of a torus, you have a torus knot. You can also make things like gingons and hoses. Um, there's also things like compound objects, which we'll talk about uh, later, like booleans and terrains, which need objects to make additional objects. Um, or particles and, and dynamic objects. Um, I tend to prefer to create my objects using the command panel over here. So you could do it either way, up here or over here, but um, we'll, for this tutorial we'll use the command panel. So to create an object you hit this plus here, which is the first tab, which is the create tab. You then select the kind of type you want to make. We're going to make standard um, geometry, 3D geometry. The second one is 2D geometry. So we're going to create 3D geometry. And then you choose from the drop down the type of geometry you want to make. So we'll just start with standard primitives. And let's just start with a plane. So to draw a plane, you just use your left mouse button and drag in your scene. Um, you can then orbit, so Alt, Middle Mouse button, um, to look at your geometry. I'm going to turn my grid off just by hitting G. You can also turn it off by selecting here and show grids, uh, just to make this a little clearer. And now there's a few things we can do. So if you um, select your object uh, using the Select tool, select your object, go to the Modify uh, panel, which is the second tab in the Command panel. This will allow you to adjust the parameters of the object. So we can go in here now that we've made it and change the size. I'll just change it to 10 feet by 10 feet. And these dimensions correspond to your unit setup. So if you go to Customize Unit Setup, that's what um, you're seeing here, um, feet inches. Um, you can then change your length and width segments. Uh, and that's the subdivision of the surface. Uh, and that looks pretty good. We can create other geometry. If we go back to our Create tab, let's go ahead and make a box over here. And um, that just works by dragging with your left mouse button, releasing, and then creating the height, and then clicking again. You can create spheres and um, all these kind of other objects, cylinders. And you'll see that if you select these different objects and go to your Modify tab, you can then change the parameters. And each of the objects have a different set of parameters. So of course, the box has length, width, and height. So you can either toggle on these arrows here or type in an exact value. The sphere is a little bit different. And remember, in the first video, I talked about um, how 3ds Max is a polygon editor. Um, or modeler. So you can see here these are the different polygons. And if I increase the number of segments, it becomes smoother looking. If I reduce the number of segments, you know, it's obviously going to be a little more faceted. So you really want to find the right balance between how many segments you need versus um, how little you need. If you have too many segments, it's going to computationally be heavy, so it'll take longer to navigate if you have like thousands of objects in the scene at this rate it's not really a big deal but if you increase the number of objects it's going to start to bog down your machine so you really want to find the right balance like what looks right especially when you render if it's far away you know you're not really going to tell the difference but if it's up close you might want to increase the the numbers here um, and again max is really parametric so you can always go back and change these um, later if you need to so you know this has a certain number of parameters radius height and that's really how you create basic objects. If you go back to the Create tab, you can try some different ones, like extended primitives. Um, they're just a little more complex, but still basic geometries um, that you have the option to change parameters of.